Valley Ranch Bunny uh, Rescue Project. This is day number four. Day number four. And as you can tell on this little guy, his eyes, or her, I don't know what they are, but their eyes are starting to open. So Reagan, just hold it, it's fine. Like if they squirm, you just don't squeeze it. So Reagan's bunny's eyes are still closed, so you can see they're closed. And then you see this one, eyes are starting to open. So they usually can't see all the way when they first open their eyes, but they can see light and shapes now. It's moving. Just kind of hold it. There you go. Squeeze it. He's, it's fine if they move. You just like, just kind of like, just pin them in a little bit. It's fine. All right, so we are gonna feed them uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. again. They're all still alive, uh -oh. all five uh -oh. of them. Uh -oh. What? Uh oh, what? It's still moving. Yeah, they're they're rabbits. They're not gonna sit still. <laughs> so. But that one is. No, he's not. I'm just kind of like. You just kind of move your hands as they crawl around. Look, you see yourself in there? So we're going to feed them, and then we're going to put them back in their home with their new little family. Are you going to feed it or me? Did your dad try to feed them? Did he feed them very good? Did what, he? One opened his mouth. One opened his mouth. You have to make them do it. Like, look. So you take this little thing, and you have to kind of like force it. This is the first time that they can see when they do it. So now he's like, oh man. So you just kind of force it in there, and then you barely squeeze it. And look, can you guys see him eating a little bit? You just squeeze it a tiny bit at a time, and then they swallow it. And they also drip a little bit like that. So here, let's put him over this towel. You can have this towel. There you go. So they're still eating about two to three milliliters per feeding, and we're doing that twice a day. But they seem to be healthy. Don't let Coco get them. Do you have anything to say, Reagan, to the people at home? You have to look into the camera. You have to look into that little black circle right there. They're so cute. <laughs> I've got something to say. What do you have to say, Molly? Uh, they're cute. They're they are cute. Tongues. They're cute, but also they can be dangerous. So you have to wear gloves when you play with baby rabbits. Wild rabbits. I have a glove on. Can I pet it? Sure. Sure. Well, you can hold one. You can no. grab one out of there. Okay, I just, I, there's only one glove left. <laughs> they didn't grab another. Don't it just scared. It's kind of like waterboarding when you feed baby rabbits. You just have to keep them just a hair above drowning and then force feed them because they don't Why really they don't really suckle they just kind of control the swallowing I wanna feed what food are they? this is kitten milk that your mom bought at the feed store farmers feed. Why is it farmers feeds pulp oklahoma Why is it kitten? best feed store in oklahoma right oh man this is going crazy when they can see now, they they see like where they want to go. Oh man! Oh no no! You gotta stay still, dude. Here. Okay. Did you say it was just a hair above drowning. Yes. Hair is a bunny. Hair. I That's what I said. My dad's listen, hair. <laughs> told me to tell you, you listen, hair. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put this guy in this hey, little Josh, bucket now. Can I hold one? Yes. Okay, hold, hold on. Not no, they don't bite. They just squirm. Just don't drop them. If you drop them, they're a goner. So they can carry like just they can carry diseases like all wild animals. So they're probably fine. They're probably safe. But we're just taking precautions. It's kind of like coronavirus. You just have to be careful. Unless your glove falls off. 
So this little one, his eyes are still closed. And you remember we had two different nests, so they might have been born on different days. Their eyes open between days seven and 10. So it could indicate that one of the nests was older. Um, if you're just watching for the first time, one of our nests of bunnies came from one of our friend's house that their dog found the nest and the other one was from our over by our chicken coop. So we have a blended family of bunnies. I want to try to feed it, Josh. Okay, just a minute. In case the viewers don't know, I'm Molly. This is Molly and Reagan. This one has one open eye and one closed eye. It's winking at me. This eye is open and this eye is closed. So here. Well, you have to do this is you have to kind of... Go on the side of it. Yeah, you just kind of stick it in there and they don't really like it. There it goes. His little tongue. Then when you push it, you have to push it real slow. Like super I'm slow. Sleeping. Hold on, I'm not in there yet. Wait. Okay, push a little tiny bit. That's the better. last one's like I'm... A little less than that. Hold on, I'm not in there yet. Come here, buddy. Here. He doesn't want to. Break it! Oopsie! Here, hold on. Bring it. That's a little... Uh, That's cool. Oh, look at the paw. Yeah, they like to scratch on it. But you gotta watch it. Sometimes they like to fling milk in your eyeballs. Ew. Yeah. It's definitely where you get the Rona. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> another way to get Rona is when you spit on it. Let's see if they can see this right here. Oh. Look at that. That is not something you see every day. No. Nope. Okay, we're gonna scooch over. I'm gonna put this one up here. Oops, tree. So I need to finish the rest of this. So I don't have its eyes open yet. Yep. Does? This one, is it the eye over there? This one doesn't. I don't think so. It looks like it almost does. Yeah, it's. It just won't open up its eyes. Yeah, its eyes are open. Okay. Oh, they're so cute with your eyes so big. Come on, buddy. So if you're watching this at home and you're feeding bunnies for the first time, um, you do have to warm their milk up because it is room temperature and it needs to be a little bit warmer than room temperature. So we um, put it in bag and then put it in some warm water so that it gets warm. Hi little bunnies. They're licking off the floor. I guess they need more milk. This mm. one's like me. They like kind of clean each other up. Like they'll like lick each other. It's like a natural instinct of like they just want to clean each other off. Wow. Oh. Because their mom would usually clean them off but she's not here. And the sad thing is, we've seen their mom hopping around our property. She's just a jerk and won't come back to the nest. So she's like, no kids. We know she's close, but she definitely abandoned them because two of our little ones died. So if you find baby bunnies in your yard, do not touch them. Do not disturb them. You will be tempted to, but you are risking their life if you do. But if you find them and they've been disturbed or your dog finds them, then hopefully you can watch these videos and learn how to save their life. We read some statistics that 10, only 10% 10 of rescued um, wild rabbits survive. So, so far we are five for five. So we are trying to improve those odds because we're slightly competitive here at Porter Valley Ranch. Also, my brother-in-law, Molly's dad, tried to feed these little guys the other day, and he didn't do a great job, so I'm definitely better at it. Ha, I win. I'm telling my dad. Oh, he's going to know, because he's going to watch this video, and he's going to be like, yeah, he's right. 
True. I watched him do it. Truth hurts sometimes, you know? Like. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Wow, this one. I really like They're it. definitely getting better at eating. Oh, it's a Okay, so day four, um, bunnies are doing good. We fed them, Molly and Reagan came over and helped. So we're gonna put them back and we've been leaving them outside and in the garage. That way it mimics their natural environment a little bit better. So it gets warm during the day. It's been about, it's been in the mid nineties here. So it's been warm. So we haven't had to use a heat lamp or anything like that. And then we put them in the garage at night. So it gets down in the seventies or eighties. So. Uh, just trying to mimic their natural environment, feeding them um, at dawn and dusk if possible. Obviously right now it's not. It's like 6 o'clock or 7. I don't even know what time it is right now. Um, but try to mimic their natural environment gives them the best chance of survival. So try to do that. Um, meet their needs. Don't let them meet yours. And good luck with your baby bunnies because if you're watching this, you probably have some. Good luck.